welcome to innovation space today we will learn how to make electrical guitar to make an electrical guitar we need a cut out of guitar from a half inch ply and we may need another ply also ply scale nut bolts ply nuts we need magnet also to make pickup coil jack guitar wire soldering hammer and drill etc so let's start making our own electrical guitar first of all we need to find out the central line of this cut out of the guitar to find out the center let's first measure it and then take half of it so this is about 7 cm so its half will be 3.5 so we mark it here 3.5 another point we can take at the end now this is about 22.8 22.8 so that means its half will be 11.4 So eleven point four is somewhere here, and now we join these two points. This is very important to find out the center line. This will act as our guide, fixing up our bridges and guitar strings, etc. Okay, now. we have found the center line we want that the length between two bridges should be about 21 inches so first we mark so say this will be this will be our place for the first bridges this will be place for one bridge and the other bridge will be 20 inches away from it so We mark 20 inches from here, so it is roughly coming out to be here. So we can mark 20 inch here, and this will be our first bridge, and this one is for holding string. Now this 21 inches will be our bridge wire length, which will generate music. And this 21 inches we will use for doing all type of calculation for different position of frets. So if this one is 21 inches, then this multiplied by this factor will give you the position for first fret to be fit. multiplied by this will give you position of the second fret similarly like for the others so this length is important and this will be used as a multiplication factor here okay so before we proceed further we have six strings here in a guitar wire if you open it six strings of the guitar wire okay so we have to make place for six wires here so this is our center line we will keep 1 cm distance between all these strings so what we should do from the center line we will mark half cm this side and half cm this side so this is our center line so this one and this one so our two wires will be here the another wire should be 1 cm away from this point and the first wire should be at this point similarly we will do it here now this one is position of the first wire 
सेकेंड वायर थर्ड फोर फाइव फिफ्थ सिक्स फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स नाउ दिस वन इज अवर सेंटर लाइन रिमेंबर वी हैव टेकन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस साइड पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस साइड तो टोटल डिफरेंस हेयर इज ए ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर सिमिलरली वी डू इट हेयर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन वन सेंटीमीटर देन अगेन वन सेंटीमीटर दिस साइड वन सेंटीमीटर दिस साइड एंड वन सेंटीमीटर दिस साइड ओके नाउ वट वी विल डू वी विल ज्वाइन ऑल दीज लाइन एंड वी विल एक्सटेंड दैम up to this end okay so i am going to join these lines you can take the help of your friend for marking all these lines because these are important now you can extend this lines now this one is going to help us as a bridge as well as for holding string there are six holes which are 1 cm apart we are going to fix up this at this position okay we have to arrange it like this so that these two holes the center hole should match the central two lines okay so this is the right position so i will take the help of our colleague to fix up this wooden block okay shishma ji will you help to fix up this wooden block we need to make some drills and insert screws okay so is marking for drill positions where is going to make drills so he has marked two points now we also need to make holes here to hold the string wires there are since there are six strings so we need to make six holes we need to make six holes on all the strings to hold the wire we will use these nut bolts with holes for tightening of the wire okay so what we will do we will make this 1 inches apart so let's say now this one will be our bridges so we keep about we will mark a line 1 inches away from this bridge then again 1 inches from this line for holding the two strings for holding the strings and 1 inches again here now this hole will be for our two central strings these holes will be for two side strings and these two holes will be for extreme two wires so we will also drill holes here okay since we are going to fix these screws here and its size is about 5 mm so we will use 5 mm drill to make these holes he is applying fabricol to fix up this wooden block on this cut out of guitar
After fixing this block, we will fix up these nut bolts. Before we fix up, first we will take a nut and we will take it up to half of the bolt and then we will take a washers and then we will take a fly nut ok so what we are going to do is we are going to fix it like this ok so now this hole will act as for holding the wire similarly do it we will do it for other nuts it should be taken almost to the middle of this bolt and then insert washer and then here and then use slide nut to tighten it so now we have fixed up all the nut bolt and they have fly nuts on other side these fly nuts will help us in tightening the wire now it's time to insert wires we mark with one one here two and similarly like on other wire so we will take the first wire and the first wire should be see we are holding our guitar like this so the first wire should be in the bottom most position hole in the bottom most ok so we will take this wire and open it gently ok open it very gently because these are very delicate and now insert it from the first hole and tie up now all these screws have hole so from the first hole take it out and give about two three turns and then you can tie a knot we will cut the extra wire later on we will tighten it later on similarly we will take now second wire on which two is written Again, take it out lightly. Okay. Similarly, we will do for this. Now we have inserted all the wires, but all the wires are still loose. Okay. First of all, we will cut all the extra wire. You may use plier for cutting all the extra wire. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we we have another bridge which will keep it here before tightening the wire, and we need to make some groove on this bridge to hold the wire. So we need to make groove one centimeter apart here. For this we will use triangular file. So after making glues in this bridge, we will keep it here and 
we will make all the wires separate before tightening them. Now to make pickup coil, what we need is two pieces of 6 cm by 2 cm which are about 2 mm thick pieces of sunbolts, two pieces we need and three magnet and five bolts. So what we will do, we will take magnet and fix up. Okay. Take another magnet and fix it here. Now put a drop of file board on all these magnet and hold the upper hold this tip like this. Now we are going to do some winding of insulated wire on these three magnets. We, will, we are going to give 70 turns of insulated wire on these magnets. Before start winding, don't forget to leave about 4 inches of copper wire free and give about 70 turns. Now this is 1, 2, now after giving 70 turns, put a cello tape on it. And now peel out insulation from both these ends using sandpaper. You have to peel out from both the ends. Now take a double sided tape. Using scissors, cut about six inches of this double sided tape and paste it here just below the wire. Remove the upper layer gently. After removing, fix up this coil on this, this double sided tape like this. Now this one is our pickup coil. And these are its two free end which we are going to attach it with a jack. We are going to tighten all the wires. You can take one washer and put it on the cross of all the bolts and tighten from below. Now we are going to fix up this plate for frets. You know, since when we will press these wires on frets, the inner frets should not interfere. So when we are going to press these strings on frets, the inner fret should not interfere in our music. So this plate should be little inclined. It should be little tapered compared to this board. What we do, first we will raise the height of this plate using double sided tape here. So, sided tape here. And then using scissors, I will cut it. I will use double side because it requires some more height. In between, I will give one double sided tape here. And one at the last. You 
we cut extra tape here. And now we will remove the upper sheets. Now we have taken the length between two bridges as 21 inches. So we will now find out the positions of different fracks. So this one is 21 inches. To find out the position of our this first frag, we need to multiply it with 21. So 8 divided by 9 into 21 gives us 18.6 similarly for second frags 64 divided by 81 into 21 ok 64 divided by 81 into 21 it gives 16.5 similarly 3 similarly 3 divided by 4 into 21 gives us 15.75 lastly half of the 21 is 10.5 so we have positions of different frags. We will mark it on this yellow sheets. Here. Then 16.5 it is here then 15.75 Take this brass pieces just keep it at the mark and drop a little bit of ferribond on it. Ferribond and drop a little bit of ferribond on this brass pieces. It automatically spreads and it will stick to this sunburn. Now similarly do it for the second frag. For others, okay. So all our frets are fixed now. Now only thing is left is fixing up this jack on these two wires. We can solder it or we can just give them a twist and First, before fixing it finally, let's test whether our guitar works or no. not. So we will attach it to the amplifier. Okay. Now. Wow. It's working. some insulation tape over these soldering pieces. Now, now take a piece of double side tape and fix up your wire at the back of this. And your electrical guitar is ready. ready.